Exercise 11a, questions 1, 2, 3 and 4. 1. Given that the radius of the Ferris wheel planned for Alpha Park is 70 metres and that theta represents the angle measured anti-clockwise from the x-axis, find all the angles for which the pod P is A, a distance of 30 metres from the x-axis. Now what I've done here is I've changed it. So I put these solutions are based on theta, theta being measured anti-clockwise from the positive x-axis, so it's here. That's where we're measuring and we're going around that way, okay? Just to get you used to it. 30 metres from the x-axis, it's here, that's 30 metres at that point, 30 metres to that point, 30 metres to that point, and 30 metres to that point. Okay, so we can set that up, that's 30. We know the radius is 70. Okay, the radius of the Ferris wheel is 70. And so that's just going to be sine. Sine theta equals 30 on 70. So sine to the minus 1 of 3 on 7 equals theta. And therefore, theta is 25.4. So we know that angle is 25.4. So this angle here is going to be 180 minus 25.4, and that's 154.6 as we get to there. Then this one is also 30 meters, so it's 180 plus theta. That's 205.4. And this one here would be 360 minus theta, if you had to go all the way around to there and that's 334.6. B, a distance 20 meters to the right of the y-axis. Well, 20 meters to the right would be here and here. Can we set this up? All right, we know the radius is 70. It's 20 meters to the right. Now that angle there is the same as that angle there because these are alternate angles because these lines here are parallel. So if we find that, we know that. And this one here, is going to be the cosine of theta. The cosine of theta is 20 on 70. So the cosine of minus one of 20 on 70 or two on seven is theta. So theta is 73.4, that's up to here. And also this one down here is 360 minus theta, and that's 286.6 degrees. Okay, question 2a, solve the following equation, sine theta equals cosine theta for theta greater than or equal to zero or less than or equal to 360. Again, I'm gonna use that mine are based on measured anti-clockwise from the positive axis, so I'm gonna go around this way. The book, I think, is still using the y-axis here. Okay, so remember all stations to cans, or however you remember that, in this quadrant here, all sine, cosine, and tan are all positive. Here, sine is positive and the others are negative. Tan is positive and the others are negative. Cosine is positive and the others are negative. So the only place here is this quadrant and this quadrant are cosine and sine the same. And if they're equal, well, that's root 2 on 2 or cosine of 45. And so it's going to be that angle there, which is going to be 45 degrees. And it's going to be the one in here, which is 180 plus 45 degrees. And that's how we see there. And that's the answer. Okay, number two. Sine theta equals 0 0.8 for theta greater than or equal to zero and less than or equal to 360 degrees. So then sine to the minus one of 0 0.8 is theta. So theta is 53.1 degrees. And that would be, again, we're gonna measure from clockwise, anti-clockwise from the x-axis, anti-clockwise, right? So we're going this way. So it's that angle there, okay? and the only other place where it's positive is going to be here. Because sine is positive here and sine is positive there, and that's positive, so it's gonna be that angle to here, and it's also gonna be this angle here. Okay, so that would be 180 minus theta, which is 126.9. Okay, number three, cosine theta equals minus 0 0.1, so it's negative. Well, cosine is negative here and here in those two quadrants, right? And so if we do cosine of the minus one of minus 0 0.1, we get 95.7. So that's this angle there from, from remember anti-clockwise, we're going around, that's 95.7. So it's gonna be up here. Okay, so it's that point there. Now it's also gonna be, because this is negative, right? Remember the x-axis is the cosine axis basically. So if you drop straight down to here, that's also going to be the same value on this x-axis, which reflects cosine. So that's going to be that point there. So that's going to be, the, if this angle to here is 95.7, 
then this angle here is 95.7, so it's gonna be 360 minus 95.7, and that's gonna give us that point there. All right, and that's how we got 360 minus 95.7 is 264.3. B, hence find the coordinates of the pod on the Alpha Park Ferris wheel for each value of theta one, theta two, theta three found in part A. Well, theta one was 45 and 225 degrees. So 45 degrees is here. So that point there, the X value is 70 cosine 45. Right, that's that point. And the sine value, the Y value, or the value on this x axis here, which reflects a sine, is 70 sine 45. Well, because cosine 45 and sine 45 have the same value, these will have the same value. So that coordinate is 49.5 and 49.5. They're meters and meters, that's in meters. And the 225 degrees, well, 225 measured from here goes right around to here. Well, that's going to be minus 49.5 because that's the x value here and the y value which reflects a sign okay that's going to be also minus 49.5 make that a bit clearer it's a bit hard to see there's the minus in there okay question three jacob models the average monthly temperature t degrees celsius in warsaw with the function t equals minus 11 cosine 30 t plus 7.5 on the domain t is greater than or equal to zero less than or equal to 11 T is time measured in months, with T, there's a temperature one, temperature at T equals zero, representing the average temperature in January. Predict the average temperature in May. Okay, so we've taken that from there, they've given us that. Now T zero, okay, is going to be minus 1130, uh, cosine 30 times zero plus 7.5. Cosine of zero is one, so it's minus 11 plus 7.5. So it's going to be minus 3.5 degrees C in January. So he told us that T0 would be January. Now it says predict the average temperature in May. Well, if zero is January, May is going to be where T is equal to four, four months. That's minus 11 cosine 30 times four plus 7.5. Minus 11 cosine 120 degrees plus 7.5. So it's 13 degrees C in May. B, predict when the average temperature would be zero. Well, that would basically, that's when the function would be equal to zero. So zero equals minus 11 cosine 30t plus 7.5. We put that in the GDC and use a sole function and we get t equals 1.57, which is mid-February since January is zero, February is one, March is two. So 1.57 would be mid-February. Okay, we know the period is going to be 360 degrees, what are we doing degrees, divided by B, so that's 12. So January is 12, December is 11, November is 10. And so also mid-November, uh, we're gonna get the function to equal to zero as well. So the answer is mid-November and mid-February. Four, Susanna models the depth D meters of seawater in a harbor eight hours after midnight with a function D equals 1.8 sine 30T plus 12.3. A, predict the depth of water in the harbour at 5.30 a.m. Well, at 5.30 a.m., that's five and a half hours after midnight, H is measured in, uh, T is measured in H in hours. So T is equal to 5.5 hours. So we put in T here for 5.5, so we've got D bracket 5.5 equals 1.8 sine 30 times 5.5 plus 12.3. That's 1.8 times sine 165 degrees plus 12.3. And that's 12.7658743, or 12.8 metres to three significant figures. Now, I've drawn a diagram down here. This one here is at midnight, that line. It's 12.3 metres. They told us that. Well, they didn't tell us. Well, basically, they told us that because that's that number. But if you want to see it, we put t equals zero here, and we get 12.3 metres because this term becomes zero because the sine of zero is zero. Okay, so we know that line there is the height at midnight. Okay, and this one we know 12.8, we found out was at 5.30 in the morning. That's five and a half hours after midnight. Then. Now here, predict when the depth of water in the hub will be 10.9 metres. So the 10.9 metre would be here, and we draw a line across there. We've got four different timings 
where the height's going to be 10.9. So we use GDC solve. The function is 10.9 and we have to find T and we get minus 1.702 hours, which is minus 102.12 minutes, which is minus 1 hour 42 minutes. Now the period is 12 because it's 360 divided by B and B here is 30. The depth will be 10.9 meters at one midnight minus one hour 42 minutes. So that's here, it says midnight again. That one there, that's gonna be 22 uh, hours and 18 minutes. At six o'clock plus one hour 42 minutes, because that's this point here, remember that's six o'clock in the afternoon. So that would be 7.42, 19 hours 42 minutes. Then midday minus one hour 42 minutes, is 10 hours and 18 minutes in the morning, right? And then this one, if that's our six o'clock point there, it's six plus uh, one hour, 42 minutes would be seven hours and uh, seven hours, 42 minutes, uh, 7.42 a.m.